Okay, find the absolute extreme values of this function on that interval. And then later we'll look at the next question, which is by looking at the graph, can you uh, do the same? So one is coming from a equation and the other is coming from a graph. So, we, so we're going to start off with this question where it's coming from the equation. And so we have x squared minus 2x, x cubed minus 2x squared, and we're going to minus 4x plus 8. Now, when you're doing absolute extreme values, basically you should start off right away making a chart. The absolute extreme values are either going to occur at the endpoints, so go ahead and put them in there, or in between those endpoints at any critical numbers. And so we have to look for the critical numbers that occur inside of our interval. And so where is that going to be at? Let's see. Well, let's go ahead. What we're going to do is plug these into the function. Let's go ahead and find any critical points on the inside. Where we find those is by taking the derivative and setting it equal to zero. It's seeing possibly where it's equal to zero or undefined, but with a polynomial, um, it won't be undefined. So we have 3x squared minus 4x minus 4 using the power rule and the constant multiple rule. Set this equal to zero and try to solve. Um, maybe it's factorable. Let's try it out. We'll have a 3x and an x. Uh, two options, either 4 and 1 or 2 and 2. Let's go with the ones that are closer first. If you're ever trying to decide, choose the ones that are closer first. Um, we know the signs are different because of the minus in front of the constant term. So one guy gets a plus, the other gets a minus. And we have to end up with a negative 4x when combining the O and I term. And so that means that this 6x gets a minus and this 2x gets a plus. And that'll work out. Set equal to 0. And now we go to solve. Let me just erase this. And we get uh, either 3x plus 2 is 0 or x minus 2 is 0. So 3x plus 2 being equal to 0 makes x equal to negative 2 thirds. And x minus 2 equal to 0 makes x equal to 2. One of these we care about, one of these we don't. Negative 2 thirds thirds is not in our interval 0 to 3. We don't care about it. So we don't use it at all. We just kind of throw it out. But 2 is, that symbol is, is an element of, 2 is an element of our interval and so 2 goes on the list. It's going to make it into the party. It's on the list. Alright, what's the party? We have to take the function and evaluate the function x cubed minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 8. Let's plug into this function. It's nice plugging in 0 because you're just going to get the constant. f of 0 is equal to 8. When it comes to f of 2 though, we're going to have to work out the fact that we take 2 and cube it and minus 2 and 2 squared. That's actually 8 minus 8. Let's cancel each other out. And then we do minus 4 times 2, who is a minus 8, but then you plus 8. Well, those cancel out. The y value is 0 when x is 2. And then finally, we'll plug a 3 in. 3 cubed minus 2 times 3 squared minus 4 times 3 plus 8. 27 minus 2 times 9, minus 4 times 3, plus 8. That's 2 times 9. That's 27 minus 18 minus 12, plus 8. Um, 27 minus 18, the negative 9, a uh, positive 9. Positive 9 uh, minus the 12 is a negative 3. Negative 3 plus the 8. I believe you get a 5 out of that. I might want to double check it. I believe it's a 5. 
Yeah, it's a 5. And so, here's how you answer. We have three values, and the smallest of these values is the absolute minimum value. The biggest of these values is the absolute maximum value. Largest. And so, the absolute max value on that interval if you stick yourself only to that interval the max value is uh, y equals 8 and the smallest of these outcomes leads to the absolute min value and I believe that answers the question find the absolute extreme values of our function yeah that answers the question all right, and then down here from a graph, the word absolute means the biggest that the function ever gets and the smallest that the function ever gets on some interval. In this graph, we actually don't have an interval. And we're going to assume that this has a little arrowhead on it, that it goes on forever in those directions. And so when it comes to the biggest y, You're going to translate that to be your absolute max value. There is none. Okay. There's no biggest y value that we can see. This thing's going to go on forever, off to infinity. This thing's going to go on forever, off to infinity. And so we reply back none. The smallest y, though, we got that going for us. That's called our absolute minimum value. And that's going to be happening when x is equal to 2. And I just venture to guess here that y is like minus 1 and a half. This point here is going to be 2, negative 1.5. And the absolute min value is that negative 1.5. Identify all local and absolute extreme values. So those are the absolute. Um, also, they were asking us about local. Okay, now locals can occur at the end point. There's no real end points anyway. And so we're going to have um, a local min. The local mins are going to be both uh, at the point that we had, 2, negative 1.5. That's a local min. You could be local and absolute at the same time. And then um, the other local min is going to occur when x is negative 1, eh, a little more than a half, I don't know. Let's call it 0 0.6. Those are your local min values, uh, the points where they happen at, and, those, and these y values are local min values. The y is the value. And then local max, uh, that's going to occur right there. It's a peak. A local max is a peak. A local min is a valley. Um, it needs to be. You need to check both sides and make sure the smallest on both sides or the biggest on both sides. Uh, you want to go ahead and say that it's at zero. It's kind of hard to tell by the graph. Let's go ahead and say it occurs at x equals zero, and let's say the y value is one. That's the local max value. All right. So locals can occur on the inside. They cannot occur like at the extreme um, values of the. Uh, x and uh, absolutes can but we don't even have an interval here for this what was critical about the previous questions that had an interval 0 and 3 we had beginning and the ending this has no beginning and ending we're going to assume these are arrowheads so it goes on forever in all directions um, and so absolute max and absolute min um, you'll, you, it's not, you're not guaranteed to have those okay alright great